in fact to to move on yeah uh, first of all yani that 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 thank you for sharing that story yeah, yeah, I, yeah. i feel like you sort of kept his legacy alive through giving us yeah. a different perspective yeah. of of the story yeah. from yours you know nobody ever understands that even you were in the accident yeah yeah i mean yeah. you know in, in terms of your yeah. life was also on the line yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah but then because you've brought up video it's mm. two stories i want you to enter yeah first and foremost because yeah. you are Sexy, <laughs> deadly, especially, especially. And yeah. then from that, yeah. take us to the video. Yeah. Now with Mr. But, Lenny, because that yeah, even yeah. that video was yeah. like you. The yeah. song was sick. Yeah, that was the fa- that was my first. That was video. your first video. So, so which so, comes first between the so two? So deadly, deadly. What happened with deadly was okay. My album is now almost ready. We're discussing it now. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're discussing what are the singles to release to hype it, and what are the singles that will stay in the album to be part of the album to keep it going. So so um <clears throat> we've done Juju uh Juju was I uh, was Bajuri. yeah Juju we wrote it in uh, my one bedroom so I, Bumba we wrote it in SQ I was in the SQ for 3 weeks uh, 3 months then I moved to a one bedroom in, in South B right mm-hmm. so I remember that we were writing it in my in my one bedroom right uh-huh. and yeah Lenny came in chorus he was like yeah Juju then we wrote it and stuff So anyway, um and same thing. I think there's a way you just born with some just because of the personalities. Mm-hmm. Lenny, very easy child guy, down to earth. Lenny's story, you know how Lenny's story is by the way. Mm-hmm. See me I'm called nameless. <laughs> I've decided to call myself nameless. I'm in campus. It has worked. I've looked uh, yeah, I try to get a name I find nameless it's worked. I've got <laughs> a song Mega Rider, it's kicking. Yeah, so, yeah. Now, two months later after now the name has shikade. <laughs> Now I'm like, yes, I'm happy with the name. I'm cool. <laughs> Some guys come to campus. They find me in the in the library actually. They go study for an exam. Come they tell me, hey, "What's up? We've been looking for you." I'm like, "Okay, what's up?" Say, okay, now. Uh, they, they tell me, "Now you know, we are actually called nameless and we've been there <laughs> longer than you. You've stolen our name." So I'm like, "What?" <laughs> No. <laughs> I can't get a name I love then you come tell me. No. So I'm like, okay. But that was actually like so I was like, no, no, then they chucked for me a newspaper cutting. And for real, this thing was like six months old mm-hmm. and me had was two months old as baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it's tricky. So I'm like, wow, okay. I really did not know you guys exist. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't do it at Kuchukwa jina yenu. Yeah. Me, I just call myself nameless and really my grade is big so people don't get <laughs> so they told me at so they wanted us to negotiate so they'll, they'll be called the whole nameless then me you are the, the original one the real one then me I'm supposed to be so that's what we concerned right so I'm like so you want me now to be like now the fake nameless <laughs> the real nameless because I'm when then yes and then let the market decide <laughs> Cause me and you, so we have the cool boy. So, do you know who they were a group? So that guy who came to talk to me was one of the guys in the group. Mm-hmm. So, so fast forward two years later, I'm with Lenny and we are trying to now work on stuff. We are just talking now, you know. Mm-hmm. Initially, I'm going to know that with this guy, you know. Now we are now tight. We are pals. We even right working on. I think with that time I worked with you. He confesses. He tells me. So were you ever approached by some guys? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, that was my partner. So he was in the group. Called him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like, Pole, man, I didn't, I didn't know, man. So what happened? They told me that they, 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 they went, they angalia this story. They're like, now this guy, the name is too big. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to change to, at a name, Tzvi <laughs> Tumayimi. <laughs> then I felt for them as, <laughs> Paul never I didn't really know. So anyway, that's so we became pals. Yeah. We wrote the song. So Mr. Lenny now left that group. Yeah, yeah. He, he became solo. He, he joined to go through collabo like he would, you know, with a very good Rai. voice yeah. with Ryan also also this other guy. They did some songs. You give me love, love, love and affection. Mm. And um Kunguru, yes. You give me enough love and enough affection God. You're always paying attention Woman, I'm so proud of to be your lover You love me nicely till I lose my control I will never, 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 
never let you down I will stand by your side till the day that I die You love me nicely till I lose my control Woman, woman, woman With a woman like you in my life Give me that feeling, you gotta be my wife Yes, I appreciate the way that you flex The way that you sex No girl, I'm gonna chase Anytime that you call me, the answer is yes I feel like a king, want to just be my queen So together we can sing And that's why me sing Me sing Cause you're so beautiful Yeah, yeah Oh man, you're so wonderful Yeah, yeah Oh man, you're so kissable Yeah, yeah Oh man, come with me Let's get tonight Oh man, you know man I live Yeah, yeah Oh man, you know freaky live Yeah, yeah Oh man, you know booty live Yeah, yeah Oh man, come with me Let's get tonight Baby don't, baby don't, baby don't, baby don't go So baby don't cry Can you feel the pain, 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 pain? I know that you're fed up. Sing along. I, I, I will never let you down. Can't be me, yeah, no girl. I, 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 I will never make you cry. Can't be me, yeah, so girl. I, I, I will never let you down. Can't be me, yeah, no girl. My, my girl, I will never make you cry. Can't be me, say to girl. Baby, fikiri kiri ya kila siku mina kupara. I do a one ipenda sana mbona unadai I can see you fly and niko chini bado nita ride Figa yako ndiyo mzuri sana Adiambo Wajua kupepeza hizo siada Dia Jesus I never knew I'm at an angel Baby girl wange dongo dongo nega heri Donyi lepi njisa dendi tomona weri So he used to be. Then he, that 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 group used to be so funny. Uh, Kunguru and Mr. Lenny, because mm. Lenny was now the voice. Eh? Mm -hmm. Kunguru was just hype, and Kunguru was very good in writing. Mm. He used to write very nice hooks, but Lenny used to now deliver them. And in performances, even them, they used to be normally the first first ones to perform because yeah. their songs are a bit slower. But whatever Kunguru would say to the crowd, ladies, are you all right? And then the crowd say, the girls are like, yay. Then then sings it. Ladies, I what? <laughs> <laughs> so that became their thing. <laughs> Lenny just says, <laughs> and then Lenny repeats it, but in a good voice. <laughs> and that was their thing. So Lenny used to write the stuff. <laughs> then Kunguru is, and then Lenny delivers, yeah. right? So anyway, yeah, so he did. So they were actually a group. No, they, they, Although they collaborated a lot. Collaborated in two strong songs. Mm -hmm. So they ended up having to be like a group. Okay, I get, I get. Yeah, especially so, for the performances. Especially for yeah. performances, and then now he did give the ride. So he really became known as a collab artist because mm. he was very good with, he would spice something nicely. Yes. So even me, Juju, you know, so me and I'm like, okay. So that's, the, and the good thing, Gopa would know how to hook people up. Mm. Says, you need to hook up Lenny, you know, you'll have something good there. So, so he did the song and then now, we reach a point when now videos are beginning to be necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now people are saying that there's a nameless in Kisumu and it's not true. <laughs> so you really need to know. <laughs> Push your brand physically. Yeah. But me, I'm a perfectionist to some level. So when I was like, this is my first video, I was like, I, I has to be out of this world, right? Mm -hmm. So so I really took time trying to, you know, get 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 something right. Then I had a background a bit in directing, like I had I had uh, gone through a short course mm -hmm. about it. So I worked on the script and all that. Because I always had that key thing of that key. That kid dark side, that that uh, undertaker juju. 
Majitu, so I was back with which doctors? <laughs> let's try one more time. <laughs> I'll do a love song, but now let's put this <laughs> thing. It can't just be love. You know, I always was like, I always be like, people say about love. So it has to be a twist in whatever love story. Like as a writer, I used to be like, if you're writing a love story, because mm-hmm. there's so much just about love, there has to be a twist. So the twist used to was a witch doctor. So I wrote it. So the thing that stands out for me in Juju is when I wrote it, they were not supposed to be cages. You see those cages that in the mm-hmm. video mm-hmm. were supposed to be a glass. Cage. I wanted to make one glass cage, mm-hmm. and then I was not even sure how we're going to do it, but replicate it on post. So I was going to be singing here, and then I was going to get five other people singing. Mm-hmm. You get not, not singing. The way were like six people, like mad people. Yeah. And then replicate it, and then it looks like now they're coming to the. You know, that's how my vision was. I didn't know where I was going to make the glass. What? So me, I've gone to film studios to talk about equipment and location, right? It's in where, where it is, it's yes. always been there. So talk to me. Hey, that time my, my name is Uko Jina Kubwa. Hey, nameless. <laughs> that time I was one of the first artists who bought a car. This was 2003. Sour. So Ooh. immediately I gari, now gari. get to the Trueno uh, Levin. It had those two lights like second hand. Eh? You guys bought that car. I remember I bought it just a day or two before. Isa's memo. You see, when Isa passed away, there was a like three months later, two months later, there was a special concert because it was supposed to be his album, album launch. Yeah. So I remember, it, I remember I was going for sound check for that. That was the first time I was performing after the accident. So I just bought the car, like, you know, I took all my savings. I was like, I need a car. I can't, now people know me. I can't mm. be seen, seen over here. So I drove with that. And it was big news, even in the Ogopas <laughs> family. Like, Lucas was like, this with music is even in Ogari. Tunasanumagari. It was a big deal then. Yeah, eh? yeah like what? For a car, yeah. So so I remember I'd driven there, you know, and I tell my Gina Kubo, like, hey, nameless, but we didn't have cars, we didn't have water. So so I told them what I want to do. Eh? So they're taking me around trying to you see how they'll help me out. Some guys saying, Yeah, maybe we have another director, what you'll be happy to help you in your project, you know, stuff like that. So when I was walking, I see Chuma. Those things, mm. they're just somewhere loaded somewhere. It's hung. So I ask again, what's that? He tells me, ah, those um, there's a vid, there's a movie we are shooting in Turkana somewhere. So those are they're going to make hats, you know? no, mm. uh, like manyata, whatever it mm. is, like this. So I'm like, wow. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> so when are you going? That time I've gone like on maybe Monday. Then they're telling me, me I'm just going to check equipment. I've not even finalized stuff, the clothes, nothing. They tell me they're going on Thursday. So I ask them. So if I ask Yomdosi here if I can use them, they think, he said, ah, he's your fan. So can I'm Zungu? He talk to him and then you see. I was like, wow, so I had to talk to him. I told him, me, I'm showing him this video. Can I use this stuff? Just just the, the frame. I said, cool, but we're leaving on Friday, a Saturday, I mean, Thursday, so, mm. you, unless you can shoot by Wednesday. I was like, wow. You know me, I'm a perfectionist. It needs to be this amazing video, so I want everything to be ready. Mm. I'm like, wow, have to do it, sour. So now I got quick. So those two days was this madness. What? From trying to fix the clothes, Fundi Frank was one who was making those juju clothes uh-huh. to cast, to the script, everything. Because I was like, I called Lucas, you're the one who's shooting the video. Lucas shot it. Mm. Yeah, his one was a DOP. Shot it and then he, another guy edited, but I was in the edit, so I learned how to edit through that one. Mm-hmm. So I've now even, that's how I now started now even doing editing myself.
Shot it, what, what. Um, by that time, I was working with Boomba girls, so even Boomba in the video, one mm -hmm. of the girls in Boomba. Mongolo, I don't know if you know Mongolo. Yeah, Mongolo Mongolo of Ted. Of, it's VPO. <laughs> yeah, you've not seen us in the video. So, Mongolo, that's his, I met Mongolo the same time I was doing my career, the first time. He's like, whatever. So, anyway, so we went in the video and editing and all that. And when we finished it, and half the scenes were shot in my house. I think my house in South B was like a studio. Because to Mefika, I mean, to Endelea, to Endelea was shot in my house. What? Big pins. I don't, like, will you work with it? Not work with me. Um, and Gimadoro. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Your house. Natafuta. Um, which other one? Uh, there's another one. They're like, it was Sunzia also was shot. Half of it was shot in my half. No? Mm. Yeah. So many parts where I just needed like a house, or room, or a what were shot in my. It was easier. There was a compound. Yeah. What, so guys used to end up just using my place to shoot. Ta, to, um, what's this guy? Twendele, much Twendele. Yeah. <laughs> Those boys. Klepto. <laughs> so Lucas, <laughs> he knows he has a hit. He knows that, you know, this is a way to chapa guys who have been chapaing Ogopa. Uh huh. These guys have blessed it. In fact, all of us were like, thank you for speaking for thank all you of for us. us. First of all, they are bad rappers. Bad. Like, bad meaning good. Yes. <laughs> As you know, all of us wanted to reply to them. Yeah. That, but then, all of us were checking some weak vibe. Eh? <laughs> so, Lucas was like, leave it to these guys. Yeah. So, we are, they have something. But they're just taking it easy. Lucas has tried to push them to shoot. So, they were supposed to shoot a video. They're in my house hanging out. We're just chilling, watching movies. <laughs> Lucas is like, where are you guys? Manze, we had monsters, manze. He told them, I'm coming there with my camera. We are shooting, shooting a video. There. They're like, man. <laughs> we, Nyash man. <laughs> they are giving them among themselves. Me in my head, I'm like, you guys are not serious. Me, the way I was taking this video of mine, like, you know what? You guys are avoiding any of a hit like this. <laughs> anyway, so the guy came. They had to call their boys from West. Man, they come, you guys will act as the bad guys. Just come wearing black. So, Monsky, do you have any white clothes here? <laughs> <laughs> so, styling. 
by the way, was done by me. By the way, <laughs> to, 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 to end the live video, all those white clothes you are seeing are mine. And that house is mine. In fact, I need royalties for that song when I think about it. Kaningekuwa msani wa sanaa ya silaha ningekuwa na jamii ya masadam kama saba na mabunduki na makofia kabilao bidhaa za kujijali tu hali mshao sikiza sauti kutoka Kenya mpaka Saudi Arabia majabu ya Musa Firaun huyu kijana nafanya vipusa kwa tauni wavue mashati mapanti ni kama wao ni wenda wazimu na saa sikiza hii story vizuri jamaa rap naifanyia chapa na mafans wanao nipenda jamaa saa hata ukinichukia siwezi jali ya ta- Come in MC stick to the wax una fakweza kutumia hip hop na other tracks sisi tukia wadhiju ana tawala industry na we bado uko uko chini kabla jina yako i grow deep miaka ka nane kalazman kutukane ndo julikane hip hop ni culture ya love usisahau pole kukwambia sikutuki na kudharau tuendele ama tusiendele tuendele ama tusiendele tuendele ama tusiendele tuendele ama tusiendele Nasikia kuna MC flani wametutusi ati ma lyrics zetu mazeni za upuzi na heri sisi hao wameja na virusi kumangana kila mahali kama mambusi So anyway yeah so so yeah so it did juju and for me because it was my first one I always say I always feel like first impressions mm-hmm. are important yeah so for me I went all out I remember at that time it cost me like 100 and 50 60000 which at that time was, was a lot like right, doing a video for like a million or one point yeah. it was big you know but it really it gave me mileage it in did, terms yeah. of now <laughs> that was the first time now I'm packaging myself because people would know me but they never really knew how I was or mm-hmm. how I represented myself visually so I was like let's do it right you know then after that now even if you don't do it perfectly It's at good. least they have a standard they're like okay tunakuamini kwa hii so that was so juju really so now in terms of the album so we are discussing now the songs <coughs> to release and all that so these guys are telling me okay the next single to hype before the album is deadly yes. <laughs> now me i didn't believe in deadly what yeah i did not believe in deadly i wanted deadly to be f- hidden in the album what yes <laughs> So I'm telling them <laughs> not deadly man. They are trying to explain to me Monsky deadly is a bad track. Deadly or deadly? It's de- <laughs> deadly. Well, but it was not called deadly that time. It was called sexy. <laughs> Because the way I had written the song it was cuz you are sexy. Deadly, yeah. sharply, something like that, right? So me I'm like hey, man, see, is it a bit too much? like the way the song is like to come out like are you so I'm still them me I'm not comfortable with tracking this single let it be in the album so really argued them they're like Francis they came they came they had to have another meeting to convince me so I told them the only compromise is you switch those words What? so change from so it should start with deadly, deadly and then sexy shapely and then the song should be called deadly so they're like uh, okay <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> Edited. Yeah, Studio actually, edited. <laughs> yeah, and for me, when I look back, I'm like, actually, Deadly was really the best name for that song, you know. I was looking at you 'cause you were looking at me. This is chemistry yeah. Yeah. Macho yako ya na meta kama star Na umbo la kola ni fanya ulala And if you like me and what you see I can organize some privacy Cause you are deadly, shapely, sexy Especially when you are move around Sound. You come around eventually Deadly, shapely, sexy Especially when you are move around To the sound You come around eventually So they chucked it And for me I was like Second course from DJs man 
they're telling me yo this thing bad in this in the club it's like hey yeah these guys knew <laughs> something i didn't know what's my deal later on like even now now and i look back and i see i was like wow that's the advantage of having a team a team because there's some things you may not see or you may not know but they will see it better for you you get but you and you're doing stuff yourself you're making decisions i would have probably made the wrong decision or pulled the wrong move you get mm. but them they're like this me i was like yeah it's cool but you know it's it's not a it's, you know it's not like juju or nina noki to release as a single yeah. before the album let it be hidden in the album with the other songs that we don't want to really push but yeah it of course changed again my now that one now set up the album mm-hmm. so juju and and did deadly combined with now nina noki wrote so my album now launch was at the end of the year 2003 you, 2003 so only yeah. 2003 only stand yeah bro <laughs> bro me fanya kazi 2003 but you see that that's an important part because that was like the start mm-hmm. and and i think for many people i think as i was saying one of the biggest issues i feel now is that guidance that's not there people are very many people are independent so they just make their own decisions so i think that there's a disadvantage to that in that um there's time the record label the experience of the label can guide you a bit and mm. say this is not yet there you yeah. can do better in fact if you just change the chorus it's a mega hit to a sexy and we can deadly yeah it was yeah. change that it was my change. conservative side yeah you know like like i i always like the way i wanted to myself to be and now i look back you know sometimes when i look and i when i'm performing the times i look at my performance catalog and the times i look and I was, like there's a time i was looking at an show i did in recently yeah mm-hmm. <clears throat> and when i was performing these love songs i was realizing these love songs i'm singing them all on mm-hmm. the same day but when i wrote them i was in such different stages of my life you get yeah but i'm singing them on the same concert and i'm singing to this campus uh kids and they're vibing in all of them and i found i was finding that very interesting so it's like the th- i can say there are three love songs that define the three the three stages yeah uh-huh. my beginning stage my middle stage and my now stage yeah because uh-huh. like i'm slowing down i'm an old artist so my beginning stage was when i was in campus okay <laughs> this car you know campus akona moto moto nikona moto cause you are my jam is in a panda panda it's a cause your song yeah my jam yeah my jam in panda but that was like my second my second whatever so my first was energy party you know deadly sexy okay. shapely uh-huh. that was my <laughs> version of love song <laughs> You know, Eric Mondi like this thing. <laughs> There's a joke they used to diss about that long time. Eh? Yeah. At Kenyan love songs. First they sing some nice, polite Tanzanian songs, then they say, but in Kenya, then <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, nigga, man. <laughs> then, then <laughs> came my second part of my life. That's when I got married. Just when I got married. And uh, I now to graduate into now, most likely more mature, nameless. Mm. And that was defined by Sincere. Yeah. So Sinzia was now just a more mature nameless but now you know then now where I am right now the one song I can tell that's defining my time as in terms of a love song is inspire oh yeah we say african beauty no It's... ah no 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 not yeah. not by far not but african beauty didn't work at, at, at all not at all but not yeah. much but the love song that actually because i can the times i feel yeah. i feel the vibe like when i'm trying to invent so <clears throat> after ogopa after check the album if pushed it doing well doing gigs eh? and it's normally happens after some time now your star starts fading so okay even before we get to the, the fading star yeah dude on fire will always be remembered yeah in yeah. this industry yeah on fire was gone like it, it, it <laughs> it's yeah. it's one of those albums that defined the Kenyan music industry mm. and part of the reason why I don't want you to just go over it mm. it's not no mm. that thing had mm. hits even holiday was a hit 
Now, holiday, let me tell you about holiday. I, I guess sweet. No, holiday. Ho- ho- and you holiday, know, let me show you. Holiday, yeah. Yeah. for me, was my best song of that album. Are because at this time, yeah. I'm a diaspora guy. I'm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I say, mm. that song, yeah. as Kenyans, when we'd bump it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, the funny thing about holiday. We're going home, yeah. man. We're going home. <laughs> Dude, man. Let me tell you. 